What's up everybody, this is Applefax channel here and in this video I'm gonna show you everything what you need to know about iOS 11.4.1 but with the focus on the iPad, because I've already made a video about it. It was like a general and more focused on the iPhones. And, and in this one, I only want to talk about the iPad, like what's new, what's the storage before and after updating, what are the new features that have to do something with the iPads. So let's begin right now. This right here is the iPad mini 4. And on this device, iOS 11.4.1 has already been installed. So in order to show you the update page, I need to go to the photos in order to show you the screenshot. This is what it looks like. The description is exactly the same as on the iPhone and the size of this update is also roughly the same. It may differ of course and it may differ on various iPad models. In case this is your first visit on the Apple Fox channel then think about subscribing because I post a lot of videos like this one and I will try to cover every iOS update in the future so make sure you won't miss that. Right now, the first thing that I would like to show you is the storage because I'm really excited about this part and when I made this test on the iPhone, the results were absolutely astonishing. I got back so much storage, so hopefully it's gonna be the same on the iPad. Because on this iPhone 10, it was it is actually a 64GB model. On this device, I gained more than 1GB and this is a 16GB iPad, so let's see what's gonna happen right here. So here it is. As you can see, this version is 11.3.1. For some reason, I skipped iOS 11.4, but anyways, it should be kind of same, but let's take a look at the storage. So 2.91 gigabytes on this version, 16 gigabytes, just like I said, is the full capacity. And also keep in mind that the amount of songs, videos, and photos should also be roughly the same because I took some screenshots. So there could be more photos present in the new version, but roughly it should be about the same and let's see what happens here so 11.4.1 and 5.3 gigabytes is now available and if i count it correctly it is more than 2 gigabytes 2.4 yeah, it, it's about 2.4 gigabytes that I got back. Of course, I skipped 11.4. Maybe there I would have also gained some storage, but right now it is just like it is and I've got so much storage back and this is definitely something I'm really excited about, especially on a 16 gigabytes model. Two gigabytes on this small size iPad, it's really, it's really good. But let's talk about the new stuff once again. So as you can see, the first issue that has been fixed, it was an issue that prevented some users from viewing the last known location of their AirPods in Find My iPhone. I know that AirPods can be connected to the iPad and I'm not sure, but there are a lot of people who only use their AirPods with the iPhone, but I find myself using it with this iPad a lot of the time, like more, I would say that more than on the iPhone. I use it more with the iPad, you know, like when I'm watching videos on YouTube and stuff like that, I always just connect it and pair it with this iPad. So just so I can use it, but still I didn't experience this problem. So I didn't know what it was like when it's not working, but now it should all be fixed even on the iPad as well. The second thing that has been fixed is, or improved as you can see, was the reliability of syncing mail and contacts and notes with exchange accounts. I mean, iPads are considered to be productivity devices and mails and of course the notes are also considered to be like productive things to do. So yeah, that's great that it works on the iPad. I personally take most of the notes on the iPad as well. Uh, besides that, I also use a Mac computer to do that. But yeah, it's great that it should work better right now. And lastly, the link that you could find in the software update description in the settings will get you to this website. This is the security content of iOS 11.4.1. I have also showed it to you in my previous video, but right now I just want to make sure that all of the things also apply to the iPads. So you can see available for iPhone 5S and later, iPad Air and later, so we can see all of the iPads that are newer or later than the iPad Air should be also part of this. So yeah, all of the things apply to that as well. I mean, most of the time it is like this, when they release a, some kind of, you know, like bug fix or something in terms of the security, it should affect all of the iOS compatible devices with this version. Like if your iPad is able to get the iOS 11.4.1, it will probably have all of the things fixed as well. 
So yeah, this would be everything what I wanted to say in this video. Right now, I just want to say thank you very much for watching and I really appreciate your support. Subscribe for more content like this. Of course, this one may be the last one for iOS 11, but the iOS 12, we already have the third beta of that. So you can definitely expect some more content about this on this channel. So make sure to stay tuned and see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.